My dear sisters and brothers in Christ in the Archdiocese of Adelaide, I'm taking this opportunity to share a little Easter message with you. I long to be with you and I hope to do so as soon as I can. I've been thinking that the first Easter was rather chaotic. Jesus had died, the disciples had dispersed, and it seemed that only Mary Magdalene had the courage to even go anywhere near the tomb. Well, this Easter for all of us is chaotic. We've been pushed into ways of acting that are unfamiliar, foreign, all with no seeming end to things. People are anxious. People are frightened. It seems that we're not only watching, but almost part of a horror movie. And then comes Easter. Because what Easter does for us is that it allows us to know the end of the story. We know how this ends. We know that Jesus Christ has and is risen, conquering sin and death. Even the first disciples were rather slow to believe. In that time of chaos, it took them some time to grieve and even believe Mary Magdalene's proclamation that he was risen that there was an end to the chaos. It can be easy at times such as ours to forget what St. Augustine once said as he described who we are, and he said that we are Easter people and our song is Alleluia. Just as the Holy Spirit brooded over the first chaos in the book of Genesis and brought forth order, so too Easter reminds us that God wades deep into our humanity, brooding over the chaos of sin and death, and brings forth life. What changed in Mary Magdalene's life that allowed her to move from fear and chaos to hope and joy? What allowed her to become the first to announce the good news of the resurrection of Christ and God's utter faithfulness? It was that Jesus called her by her name, Mary, and we're told that she knew him then, and so was transformed into an extraordinary apostle of the resurrection. Normally at Easter, we would be baptizing the elect and maybe welcoming others into the church, and all of us would be renewing our baptismal vows. I simply encourage all of us, the elect, those who will join the church and all of us who yearly renew our baptismal promises that at Easter, God calls us by name. And like Mary Magdalene, calls us to be missionary disciples, proclaiming the wonder, the joy and the reality of the resurrection. Being Easter people is exactly imitating what our loving Trinity is going to that place of death, that place of chaos, and telling and living the good news that Christ is risen. This is our faith. This is the faith of the church, and we're proud to profess it in Christ Jesus. So let us be Easter people, and may our song always be Alleluia. Dear sisters and brothers, despite the difficulties and uncertainties that Easter 2020 brings, I wish you a very blessed Easter. May we always be Easter people, no matter what happens, and may our song always be Alleluia. God is good, good indeed. Thank you.